Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create in-app products and sell your courses in the mobile app that is generated from the WPLMS PWA. So let's get started. So here I have a WPLMS site and the corresponding app on the Google Play Store is available at available at the Google Play Store use uh, with the with the app ID com.wplms.io and here the app is under internal testing mode now to create now to enable your users to purchase the courses from the from the mobile app itself you will need to enable the in-app purchases which means that when you are generating the app from the PWA Builder so when you generate the app from the PWA Builder and go to the next step to get the Android package you click on the store package and here make sure the package ID is the exactly the same that you are that you have created in your Android store and if you have already generated an app then you have to make sure that you upload the uh, you have the key store file with you now we'll see in a moment and if you are updating an existing app make sure you update the version and it should always increment and never decrement make sure you up update the ver version and also the version code and for the app to be able to sell in-app products make sure you set the display mode as standalone and the most important we have the google play billing and you will need to enable this google play billing so that you are able to sell the in-app products in the app which is generated from the pwa and lastly we have the signing key so if you are creating a new app then just select the new and add the key alias key full name uh, add the relevant details to generate the app and when you download the app package it will give you the key signing details if you are updating an existing app which is already on the google play store you have to make sure that you are always using the same key store file that you generated when you created the app for the first time otherwise you'll just have to create a new app and and there's no way to recover an app which is already published but you have lost the key store file you will never be able to update it so make sure you have the key store file key alias key password and key store password all these details will be there in the app package which is generated and you can download it now once you download it as you can check from our previous video tutorial you have to upload the aab file and let's go to our to our app if you have uploaded the app file correctly you will be able to get the in-app products screen otherwise if the app if you forgot to enable the google play billing in the pwa builder you will see a notification here that this app does not support in-app products and you will have to enable it and then you'll have to create some in-app products now the important point is that you need to note the product ids now since the there is no way for the course to automatically generate an in-app product we have created a functionality which is called as wallet functionality if you are aware in the previous version of the app the ionic version of the app we use the wallet there as well and this is the exactly the same wallet which we are using in this app as well so if you are upgrading from the ionic app to the pwa app then all your users accounts history and the and the credit balance in the wallet will remain the same now to enable the wallet you will need to go to the wp admin panel and go to the ybp settings and below you will see a wallet you will see a wallet tab 
and in the wallet tab you'll need to enable the wallet tab and add the google play credits here which means that when this is the product id as you can see product id and the number of credits you want to add to the wallet now these are the credits which will be added to a user's wallet when they purchase this product and the pricing for this product is set in your in-app product screen in the google play console so you just go to the create a product add the product id this is the product id which you have to enter there name and the price so for, for price you have to create a pricing template and you can create a new pricing template where you can set a price and okay and apply prices and you can add the name okay so once you have created this if we go back to the pricing templates and if we go back to our app and let's add this in our products and let's add this here so the product id will be uh let's say 50 credits 50 credits on purchase of 65 so it cannot have space let's say 65 credits And here we can set the pricing template now when you are uh, creating the pricing template for the first time it will take some time to appear in your app because newly published in-app products do not uh, appear as soon as you publish them and here you'll need to enable multiple quantity because we are uh, we are recharging the wallet now let's see how the wallet functionality works. So the wallet function so here and we will need to activate it. This activation usually takes few hours to up to 24 hours. And here we have the 65 credits product, which we'll enter, which we'll enter in our Google Play credits. And here we let uh, 65 credits and how many credits we can say five, 60 because some amount is reduced in the taxes and the google play store commission so once you have created this now you'll also see a balance tab this is the ad hoc balance tab which we have added and it is exactly from the version 3 to the version 4 and you'll be able to see the credits which are available and every credit has also has a history of when it was available if we also see how it works is that you will be able to set the number of credits which are required to purchase any course so if we edit any course let's edit any course and we edit in the accessibility you see that we have the credits which will be available to be sold and here you can set the credits when a user purchases this course using the wallet amount and then we'll see the actual demo and in the wallet you can see the number of the balance which is available and then in the transaction screen you can see that these are the number of credits which were added when you purchase this product and when you are purchasing a course the wallet amount is debited and it is shown like this this is similar to what we have in the version 3 ionic app as well and there is this commissions tab as well which we'll uh, cover with the inst instructor's account so the instructor will earn commissions on credit so after you uploaded the app so step one we we generate the app step two we upload the app in google play play store now the third step is to register for the digital goods api version 2 
Now this is a format which is created by Google which allows PWAs to directly connect, connect with in-app products. And if we go to developer.chrome.com and here you can see that we have some active trials and here you will see the digital goods API version 2 which is and we will register here and uh, you will need to enter the domain and now we'll register and when the registration is complete you will see a token now this is a very important token now you'll need to copy this token and use this small uh, snapshot of the code that we have and when you are pasting this you will need to paste your copied token here and paste this entire code snippet in your functions.php file so once you have pasted this this completes the step number three which is required for selling the courses when you upload the app you can simply open the internal testing mode which is going to so for internal testing mode it means that it is available to selected users who will be able to test the app and for that you'll need to create a testers profile and under the testers profile you need to enter email ids to those email ids they'll get an email for the app otherwise you can simply copy this link the direct link and send it to any user who is going to test the app now let's see how how this will work in the in the actual app so now here I've copied the link and sent to my Android device. Now in the Android device here you can see it is going to show me to accept the invite and then we can download it from the Google Play Store. So here the app is currently under internal testing which means it will be it will appear as unreviewed. right so here the app has been downloaded and here it shows the app is in version 1.0 and now we can open the app in the android device now we open the app in the android device now once the app opens here we can log in and let's uh, log in from a student's account now here in the app if you are getting the getting the address bar then the then you have to update the well-known asset links file and the contents of the asset link file should match the should match the ones in the in the google play store so if you go to the setup in the app integrity in the app signing you will see the digital asset links.json so this is the exact file that should be there in your well asset uh, well known folder so now we are logged in to the account as a student and when we go to the wallet here it shows no transactions found and when we go to the balance you can see it is showing few items that we can purchase and here we have our 65 credits as well now we can purchase any item and we'll just add the code and now we'll redeem the code and here you can see we purchase 100 credits and when we go to the transactions here it shows 100 credits were purchased now we go back to the courses now let's head over to the course directory 
and in the course directory we can purchase a course which is a test course so right now the price is not set for this course let's just set the price for this course so here we can see so here we can see that we are uh, shown two prices one is dollar 30 and 50 credits and when we click on take this course or on the on the button on the link it opens the course and here we will get the option to take this course using credits or uh, using the WooCommerce purchase since WooCommerce purchase will be disabled for the in-app products we will we can purchase this course with credits and now we'll purchase this course right so the course purchase has uh, completed here we will see that we have the test course purchased from the uh, wallet and if we go to the wallet uh, the balance is shown as updated and in the transaction it shows that we use the 50 credits for purchasing of this particular course that's it for the WPLMS tutorials. Thanks for watching.